and this Easter is a special one for one church in Chesapeake. Today marked one year since a tornado destroyed the real life church. Here's a better look at that damage from one year ago today. But instead of dwelling on the past, the congregation held a special service today. They're remembering all their blessings in a year marked with tragedy. 13 News Now reporter Megan Perrier was there. We just come down this today to celebrate how far we've come. Far we're going to go with the help of the law. Carol Reed started Real Life Christian Church nearly 15 years ago, but saw all her work come crashing down in a single day. You now we heard that there was a tornado warning about, but you know, when you see it hit your church. It's been one year since a tornado took down the church. Now the congregation's meeting under the leadership of a new pastor. Um, they see him take his last breath, and there's a moment of destroyed expectations. And on this day, it parallels very much where we were a year ago in terms of a destruction of expectations. New pastor Drew Frozy wasn't there when it happened, but he shared a story of a little girl who saw it happen. And started praying like, uh, praying to God, asking that he save her. And she saw it touch down and destroy the church and then pop back up. And she said, um, God took his home instead of mine. Frozy says it's this faith that caused him to pick the Chesapeake Church. The reaction that this church had to the tornado was a huge intrigue to me because I saw a group of people who didn't look at the destruction of the building and go, oh man, I guess we're just the lost people. Instead, they went to help others around them. They went out in the community to the people's homes that were affected by the tornado and they handed out um, financial and, and time resources. Elder Doug Scott says the anniversary parallels to the Easter story. The day between Christ being buried and resurrecting and, and being resurrected, and this is our day to kind of between destruction and moving on to, uh, to re rebuilding. And that's how Scott says the future will be. We focused on looking outside the church, not inside, at uh, what's happened to us, but how can we continue to serve the community? It's taken a lot since all the destruction, but the church came together. And in rebuilding the church, they rebuilt their congregation. Megan Perrier, 13 News Now. And the Real Life Congregation hopes to get into their new church by Christmas Eve of this year.